Hey guys, it's Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to get Advanced Warfare to work on your PS3. So, uh, I'm sorry I'm a little bit sick today, actually. It's really cold over here in Chicago, so I have a little bit of a cough. But nonetheless, I hope that doesn't get in the way of anything. If anything, I'll just mute my mic when I cough and cut that out. But, uh, yeah, so, first of all, I want to say that I've made a second channel uh, since, my recent, since my last video. So, you can go check that out. Link's in the description. If, like, the, the channel's just about... <clears throat> gaming sort of so you know check that out if you want I have two videos up on that channel they're both Minecraft but you know I'll make other videos besides that <clears throat> so let's just start out by uh, downloading advanced warfare so I guess this is also how to get advanced warfare so just go on the pirate bay search advanced warfare PS3 and I, I've already searched it before you can find us on other websites too <clears throat> I think I've actually got this from kickass torrents However, uh, I think they've taken off the files because I couldn't find it today. But anyway, you just click get this torrent, and it goes into uTorrent or whatever client you have. So once you've actually downloaded the whole thing, um, you should get something like this: Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, or Call of Duty Advanced Warfare PS3 I M A R S whatever. So you get this folder here. You open it up and you get all these files and whatnot. So what you should do is click control A and then while your pinky is on the control button just control click anything that's not a RAR file and you could actually control drag many files at the same time just like this uh... give me a second just like that so now all of the RAR files are selected All right. Well, now that they're all selected, just right click on one of them and click uh, Extract Files, like that, and um, click OK. So it, that takes a few minutes, I'm not going to do that now, so I've already done it. But once you do that, you should get <clears throat> something like, let me just find where I got it, or something like this. It should look like blue 31466. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, that's what it looks like, and you get this game folder, update folder, and this thingy, so that's what it should look like. So that's the first step of this process. <clears throat> Next, you're going to need to uh, put it on your hard drive, your external hard drive, um, so you could play it on your PS3. So my hard drive is right here, and here I have a games folder in capital letters. And in there, um, I've dragged Advanced Warfare in there, and I just renamed it. So that's how it, that's what it looks like. Once it's in your, uh, once it's in your external hard drive, you could just close out of the other folder. And the next step is to get a fix so it could work on your firmware. If you're on like a custom firmware on I don't know like 4.65 or whatever the latest one is, I don't know if that's come out yet. I'm not sure. I'm on 4.46. But if you are on the latest one, you're not going to need to fix it, I don't think. But I'm on 4.46, so I will. That's when you have to go to this website, which I'll have a link for everything. Remember that. Uh, basically, this has all the retail fixes and update fixes for Advanced Warfare. It just doesn't have uh, 1.03, which is okay. I'm going to show you how to still get 1.03. So just find the retail fix for your region. So in my case, I'm at Blues. 31466. <clears throat> so all I gotta do is just copy this link, control C, paste it, and it's gonna ask you for a password, so just come up, and here's the password. Just copy and paste that into here, and click submit. Then follow this, and basically just download it. it takes a minute, or a few minutes, whatever. So, once you got that downloaded, here's what you do. So first minimize out of this, go into, or find, find what you downloaded. It should look like this, have, it should have these like weird numbers and stuff. And so find the one for your firmware. So mine is 4.46. What you gotta do is uh, right click on this and click extract, uh, wherever that is. Actually, first, just drag this on your desktop. My bad. 
So yeah, if you're on 3.55 or 3.41, um, then you download that. If you're on 4.21, you download that, but on 4.46. So then once you have it on your desktop, just locate it, wherever that is. My bad, I can't really find it. It's right here. So now you can click Extract Files. Click OK. Um, and I already have I already I've already done this, so just I guess click. I'll just click yes to all. So let me just find where that went. So it's right here. So you could open that. So you see the param fso. Sorry, param sfo. My bad. I dyslexic there for a second. And then uh, go into USRDIR and you find these three files. So with this, this will allow you to play on 4.46. So just put this to the right side of your screen. Get out your other, yeah, your actual game inside your external hard drive. So go into PS3 underscore game. Go back in here and find param sfo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so find param SF param sfo. Drag it in here. It'll ask to replace. Just copy and replace. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. And then USRDIR, USRDIR, um, and just drag all three of these in there. Okay, I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. And it'll say uh, replace to all. And once you've done that, um, you're ready to go to your PS3. So uh, I'm just, I'm just going to put my external hard drive into my PS3. Okay, so once you're at your PS3, make sure that the external hard drive is in the right-hand slot of your PS3, uh, or else this probably won't work, <laughs> all right? So scroll down to Debug Settings. It's in System Settings on the bottom. Um, if you're on 4.46 Rebug, it should be here, or if, on, if you're on DEX, it should be here, but it doesn't matter. Just go, go here and uh, scroll down to Network Settings for Debug. Make sure you're on Single Settings, not Dual Settings. I do get mixed up with these, so maybe I'm wrong, but I believe it's single settings. Um, uh, then next, uh, what you have to do is go into Multiman. So by the way, it's helpful to have some sort of disk in your PS3. Uh, this will work the best. Uh, so yeah, go into Multiman. Okay, so then <clears throat> once you're in Multiman, just click Select and Start at the same time if you're at this screen, and then it should take you here. So you should see uh, any games that you've put on your external hard drive. In our case, we put Advanced Warfare. Okay, so now uh, click Triangle on this game. Click, um, let's see, Game Settings, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so then go to the bottom right hand side with all these like dots and stuff and make sure two things are selected. Make sure internal is selected and BD mirror are selected. So without these, I, I don't think this is going to work. So then you could just go back, uh, then click start and select at the same time. So now you go to your actual advanced, warf advanced warfare folder. So all you have to do is just go to PS3 root. Um, scroll down to your external hard drive. Uh, let's see. Go to games. Go to go to your advanced warfare. Okay, just like that. I'm just gonna close this out so I don't have two of them at the same time. Um, so now you you uh, right uh, circle, click circle on PS3 underscore game. And then scroll down to activate BD Mirror. Then click yes. Okay. And I think it might exit all multi men right now. Yeah, so it exits multi men. Uh, if if you're doing the f this the first time, unlike me, you'll probably get something like uh, this game needs to be updated or whatever. Um, just click OK and it'll kind of just mount it so that it'll work. But then just uh, so you see, see, you have Advanced Warfare here. 
you just want to do is go to PS Ninja. If you don't have it, I have the link in the description. Just install it. It's just a package file, so just go in there. Wipe history, replace history, and make history read only. So that once you sign in, you won't get uh, console banned. Um, otherwise, I'm not so sure about the insta banning on this game. I don't know if you can get insta banned yet, but if you can, then you might not want to sign in with this game without an anti ban eboot. But I'm just going to risk it anyway. So, first, I'm just going to start up the game. <coughs> Um, and so apparently there's version 1.04 That might be a problem because the last time I did this was one on 1.03, so um, I'll be right back and I'll test this so first I'm just gonna click OK So it should start installing but I'll be right back and I'll let you know if it works or not Okay, so I figured out the solution and by that it means that it didn't work so this is actually what you do so go back into multi-man Wait for that to load up. What we're actually going to do is we're going to activate the BD mirror like we did before. And this will actually fix the error that you get. So, you're in here. Just uh, click circle on PS2 underscore game. Inside your external hard drive, click activate BD mirror. It'll say, do you want to enable BD ROM game disk mirror on external USB? Click yes. Then another message will pop up and it says, um, do you want to change it to your current 4.486 version or whatever it says for you? And as it says on the bottom, this operation will fix 8001-0009 errors, which is what I got. So just click yes, and it has just fixed it. So basically, every single time you update your game, you're going to have to do this. Um, and actually, you're actually going to have to do it every, every time you load your game in the first place. So you're going to have to get used to that. But just go back into PS Ninja. Select the first three options. Click exit. So now you should see advanced warfare as before. Just click on it. And it should work this time. Yep, and it does work. So as you can see, the game is just loading up. Uh, and I'll kind of skip this through until I uh, until this thing actually finishes. All right, so now you can just go into multiplayer and actually sign in. Because I do have a spoofer on, which will let me sign in. Play online and sign in. Okay, well, I guess my spoofer isn't really working anymore. So, oh yeah, I think the, they actually came up with a new update recently, a couple days ago. But nonetheless, if you just run a spoofer, you could be able to go online and play this game. So I'm sorry about that, but I guess I could just go local play. <coughs> So I've already made a, an offline account before, so just continue. Um, I'm not going to really mess around with that. I'll show you that it works. By the way, I don't have like I don't really have a working controller that's good, so I'm actually using one that's not a Sony controller. It's just a really crappy one that I got. So whatever, I'll just auto sign random class. So the game's working. Uh, could actually just run around, double jump, because you could do that now. Okay, and so uh, clearly this game works. Uh, okay, uh, what? There we go. <laughs> so anyway, that's about it for this video. If this was helpful, please um, please let me know that. You could give it a like if you'd like. <laughs> um, and subscribe. But uh, anyway, I'll see you later.